into the lounge. It is your early morning stream session with Longscope. Hey, that's me. Just playing a little bit of Starpoint Gemini Warlords. Uh, two days ago they released a patch, a zero point, or I'm sorry, uh, yeah, no, I was right, 0 0.502, adding some more content, cleaning up a few things. Let's, well, first of all, I'm going to turn my volume down because I can't hear myself talk. All right, here we go. So with the new patch, uh, 0 0.502 down here, as you can see, uh, they've added some more weaponry, some more ships, an entire new kingdom's worth of ships. Um, so we'll start to see more variety in between the combat. Um, they've added some more tutorials for the prologue, which I've already run through. Um, and I don't necessarily want to run through it again. But a whole lot of changes listed on the Steam news page, in case you're in there. Uh, I also just saw earlier today that uh, oh never mind I'll cover that in a, I'll cover that in another uh, broadcast here seems like the load times a little bit longer I'm wondering if it's just it's got to add the new content I'm sorry if I'm sounding a little bit weird I'm getting a bit of a cold for my daughter my littlest co-pilot so if I happen to pause or do anything like uh, mute you guys or something, it's because I am sneezing my brains out. I'll tuck them back in and we'll continue the broadcast. Alright, they also added a traitor to your main station. It has stuff. Ships, equipment, T drives, etc. Already got some of this stuff. Now, uh, this will be a fairly short broadcast. Just because I've got a lot of stuff I gotta do today, unfortunately. Reads out the uh, ships that you cannot qualify for yet, and then if you don't have enough money for it, it also reads that out too. I don't have enough money for one of these Corvettes yet. I'm looking to buy. I'm gonna go ahead and compare it. Let's see what it looks like. More hull, more cargo, more troops, especially aboard. And the systems wise, now uh, these here where it says light weapons, you can't mount anything on this particular ship. Um, you just can't. This one at least has one in the back. I don't know if it's because these are grayed out or what. I have a feeling that because this one says light weapon and has nothing here, and this one says no heavy weapons on battery, this one, well, what does this have here? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Alright, so on the comparisons, if it's got something here or here, this must mean that you can actually stick something there. Okay. Well, that's better. I like that. It's a little more descriptive anyway. 
Right, so I'm gonna have to come back here when I get some more money. <laughs> Sorry. Let's take a job. There have been some changes to the job board, some tutorials added. Um, let's see if they've added any skills perks yet. No, not yet. Alright, well, let's take a couple of jobs. Uh, uh, Welcome to level 3. Oh, good. We get more information here now. Distance. Uh, one of the changes, one of the big problems that we had with the originals was that you never knew how far away you had to go. Like, you'd take a salvage mission and it'd be 400,000 away. So what they did was they made a minimum and maximum for each level of um, mission difficulty, uh, for lack of a better description. Like this one here is a 7, not recommended. This one is a distance of only 8,000, where the next one here, 22,000. We were getting some really big distances, especially for the early... Uh, early missions was kind of difficult because you just get swamped with ships. This seems to be much better. You can also judge, oh, how far do I need to go? 19s, 8, 22, 5, but it's a level 7. I believe I'm a level 5. I might be able to pull that one off. Not a lot of money, though. This was a 19, but a 3. Let's do that. It's more money. All right. Flip about. Go to the waypoint. Now, I've talked about this in my honest review over on uh, Steam. You can find me under Long Scope there, too, um, if you go to the page. I've got a whole list of things where I go over the good, the bad, and what's great, what's being worked on, what's improved from the last one. Um, the targeting reticle is one of the things that I touch on here. This thing is gigantic. It is absolutely huge. And if you don't have anything targeted except for a waypoint, this is cool. I mean, it looks very Tony Stark. It's got doodads spinning about. And very cool look at things. Not particularly useful because it's just a waypoint. Now the problem is when you have a ship here, you've got all these doodads floating about, and it's kind of distracting when it comes to actually going somewhere. Um, let's go ahead, and the go-to has been improved drastically, by the way. So it will no longer crash you into planets or ships, or uh, stations for that matter. But this, although cool for waypoints, I would like to see a change for targeting ships. Uh, let's go faster. Well, our, fa our speed's actually okay. Back. They changed the the hotkeys on your keyboard now actually trigger these. One, two, three, four, and I believe this is five. Yep, six, seven, eight. Now, let's see. This reminds me of a bug of some kind. I can't, I haven't decided yet. Wasp, perhaps. Oh, we're already eight away, so we're doing pretty good. I gotta say, the sense of scale in the game world now feels more significant. Um, like before, you could just be like, okay, well, power to engines, hit the sublight, and, you know, you zipped right past a planet. Like, super quick, because the planets felt small. With the increase of size, these feel much more significant, the planets especially. The rings are cool. Okay. Target is in sight. Hail him. Surrender immediately. Oh no, you want to fight? This is what I mean. All this doodad stuff in the middle doesn't mean a thing.
Oh, hey, they left a they left us a present. So the derelicts before weren't working because the scavenger swarms weren't actually bringing anything on board. So we're going to try that now. Uh, they say they've patched that in this patch. They've corrected it. Who is shooting? Somebody better not be shooting at my shit. Collect all. And that's one thing they'll have to address later. Alright, where are we headed? Let's go back to... Well, hell, let's go to the planet. I, Corset. Initiating sublight. Now the go to, like I was saying, has been improved. So this should no longer crash you into a planet. It should just park you right next to it. <laughs> Let's test that, shall we? Oh, no, there. It cut off right where you're supposed to dock. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Land it. Let's go to the trader. Hey, I got a couple of gold. Sell it. Mm, anything in the dry dock worth taking? Enhancements. Systems. Hmm, I can afford a Tesla 2 now, which is a 13. However, this one's a 52. 78 with bonus. Alright. Nano drones, I got two of. Uh, the Alice defensisms here were crashing the game before, and they've corrected that. Same with the, uh, I think it was the Orpheus mine, I believe. So, either way, not bad. Alright, now here in the, in the loadout, these are obviously blank, so you can't put anything there. Uh, pardon me. Sniffles. Ship. Transporter capacity 8. I would like to see that increased, so let's hit the dry dock. Enhancements for the transporter. One of these will say, um, range. Locust. These are transporter capacity boosted by 50%. Locust purchase that. And now it gives me 12. So every time I beam somebody over, instead of just fighting 8 of my troops, you're going to see 12. I believe this ship holds 15, so I might actually be able to get some captures. I don't know if I can do that yet, but... Um, let's do another search and destroy. These are pretty close. No one's done. Too, no, that's a survey though. Um, the search and destroys are great because they put you in reach of things that you can steal. Shipwise, I mean. Course adjusted. Initiating sublight. I mean, if you ever get confused, you can hit P on your keyboard, and it'll it'll correct it to the map plane. Go to. Setting course. Let's go fast. Now, one of the hotkeys, and I don't remember which one. Let's find out. Oh, there it is. Um. Backslash is 100% weapons. Uh, apostrophe is 100% speed. And semicolon is 100% shields. I would have liked to see those in line. Perhaps the two brackets and the uh, 
backslash would have been better in that case. Uh, the two brackets don't seem to do anything. Uh, question mark slash forward, or forward slash rather, is the match everything. Uh, hail these guys. Surrender. We surrender. Let them on board. Oh, there's a second ship. Time to fight. Roger that. Commencing automated firing sequence. We're gonna transport over and see if we can't steal your dudes. Transport. We're going to scan you. And slow down so I can actually get a turn on you. Transport is not doing anything. Okay. So we're just gonna kill you. And currently, the NPCs will just continue to shoot on the dead characters. Not terribly useful. Setting course. Initiating sublight. <laughs> Pardon me, sniffles again. Dark. Firing at will. Concord, fairness. Let's do uh, let's do another job or two. Survey that one. The maintenance jobs are far away usually, but they're not bad. Twenty-three for sixty thousand. thousand away for a salvage that's not bad let's do that now, the problem with the salvage last time is they well they sucked it was hard to find anything as far as like your waypoint was never exactly the thing you needed to salvage which was a problem the um, oh, what's that I don't know. Um, the patch, the recent patch, has addressed that. Uh, now the waypoint shows you exactly what you need to salvage, and everything else in the area is just vanilla. According to the devs, they have a lot of minor crashes fixed, like for dropping items and stuff like that. Um, boarding at that point didn't seem to really do anything. Alright, so here I am. That's gonna point me at what I need to salvage. It is this time. Excellent. Let's get near it. Mm, whatever this thing is. So I need to go into my ships and go to the equipment. And they gave me a scavenger swarm. We will stick it here. And we'll stick those ones there. Alright, so scavenger swarm. Now, the nice thing about scavenging is you're gonna get, I mean you can blow it up and, and still get some materials. Scavenging you can sometimes get ship systems. Salvage. Item not found. Next target marked. Collect that. Ah, okay, so this one, you get to salvage multiple things. Ah, haha. -ha. 
So apparently I'm looking for something for somebody. Equipment. Scavenger swarm. Mount it. It appears that it will just keep giving me scavenger swarms until I find out whatever the hell that thing is I'm supposed to get. But at least the things are marked now. That's handy. So if I don't get the first set or second salvage, not really a big deal. I'm not spending a ton of money on scavenger swarms. The uh, other thing is, is whenever I salvage scavenge, oh good, it completed. I'm also going to get um, materials, even if I don't get the whatever thing that completes the job. Uh, let's go back to my base. That away. Right clicking on the map now will automatically make it as a go to, which is handy. the middle mouse button menu thing, quick menu, I couldn't think of the name of it. Let's see how far we have to go. I didn't even look. That's not that bad. Realigning course. I do like this little ship. It'll be nicer when I can get the next one. I have more guns. It says four forward facing guns, and you can actually see them this time. It was harder to do on the last version, but you can see where I'm aiming. I've got the four, four turrets on each wing and stuff. Kind of cool. Not Star Citizen level of detail, but still pretty sweet. There's my... Course adjusted. Yep. Let's see if it crashes me into the arm this time. Nope. I'm just gonna have to go myself. Alright. Should have some stuff to trade. Iron, gold, leather. <laughs> Yeah, leather is super expensive in space, probably because there's not a whole lot of cows. Well, that's your space cowboy. Named Maurice. Or Malcolm Reynolds. Alright, let's see. Anything good in the shipyard? A lot more ships at my little place. And not a thing I can afford. Have to go back to the planet when I get some more money. Like this one here has multiples. It's got ones on the side, none at the back. I kind of wish these here were further grayed out, or just the box eliminated altogether because it doesn't need to be there. Same with this one. It's just a little confusing. I'm sure that's probably one of the things that'll be addressed in a future patch. Um, for construction, this is your main base. You can add to it. Everything is ridiculously expensive, well, at least at low levels. Uh, price five million to build a, another module. You can build a hangar, which you can add more garage ships to. Storing and construction of vessels, five million bucks. Tactical center to unleash your war fleets of fury upon the unsuspecting universe. The nice thing about this stuff is this automates tasks for you. Like once you start building ships, you can make your own fleets and you can send them off to do stuff while you do uh, further things. For example, mining task tier. You can task a mining ship to go collect shit. How awesome is that? War fleet tasks enable. At least that's the way I understand it. Maximum number of war fleets, one. Salvages. Salvage captured ships. <laughs> Call in your civilian fleets to retrieve a captured ship. That's awesome. 
That way I don't have to sit there and drag a big ass ship back to my base. That's fantastic. Junk reclaimers. So I, I assume that's like mining in the junk fields. Five billion bucks. Research, I imagine, would be super useful. Lots of storage. Um, let's do, tell you what, let's do one more and then we'll run on. Um, Little Green Men are the guys who are developing this, and I gotta say, I've been very impressed with them. Um, I just picked up Starpoint Gemini 2 on a Lark. Just, it was on a Steam sale one weekend, I think I picked it up for like eight bucks, something like that, and I tell you what, that is a fun game. I enjoyed that tremendously. And I'm glad that we're seeing something like that now um, with uh, updated graphics and such. How far are you? I want something that pays a little better. Surveys, salvages. Oh, let's do a survey. What the hell? Where is said survey? Course adjusted. Engaging sublight. Boom. Yeah, I always like to click on these so I know how far I've got to go or how long it's going to be uh, so I can go piss. I'm just kidding. But not always. You get these really long voyages, and sometimes you can run and blow your nose or do whatever you gotta do, but uh, at least in the last one. In this one, you see more random encounters. Which I kinda like. I mean, it makes, makes it a little bit exciting if you just happen to be going a long, long distance. This one's not a terribly long trip, but that's okay. To proceed. All right. Oh, boom! Crash the shit out of that. Oh, obviously, the go-to feature isn't perfect. Cloak. All right. Transport. What is your assessment of the situation? I don't know. Let's say I need to investigate some more. Can I scan it? Why can't I scan it? A revenant structure. Grapple, no. Ham hail it. I'm going to guess this is a data stash. So I assume that in the final game you'll be able to look at this stuff and do some investigation, but right now I'm just guessing. the structure. Well, let me... Let's 
I'm not sure what evidence I was supposed to gather. Oh, placeholder. Which I can't scan any of it. These will be named eventually. We don't know anything about any of that. Affirmative. Engage sublight. Ah! Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Alright, I have no idea what this thing is. So let's go look at it. I'm in the foggiest. I guess I can't really interact with this thing. Well, I learned my lesson last time. Don't try and board these stations. They will wreck you. All the little patrol things there will totally eat your lunch. All right, well, I'll tell you what, let's go to the planet. Acquiring new coordinates. Initiating sublight. Oop, that's not the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. <laughs> 